Peace and Pan-Africanism. They shut down my live. Shout out to the two queens from Mississippi for expressing their opinion. Peace and Pan-Africanism. They shut down my live. Peace and Pan-Africanism. They shut down the live. We going right back. We going right back. We going right back. Marie Jamila going twice. Sister Marie Jamila, where you at? You try, trying to tap in? I guess not. There you go. Hey. How you doing, Sister Marie Jamila? Where you, where you based that Queen? What city? Hey, I'm in Atlanta. Atlanta, Georgia. What is your opinion on the Puffy? I just spoke to two young, beautiful sisters in Mississippi. They said Puffy has to go. I asked them because he beat up Cassie. I asked them. Did y'all know of any men who ever put their hands on women before? And did you call the police on them? They really couldn't give me a straight answer. I just kind of feel like my queen. Sometimes we practice a selective morality. We want uh, celebrities to be held accountable, but we don't hold the people in our own life accountable for the things that they do. But what is your situation? Do, do you agree with the two young sisters from Mississippi that he should go to jail because he's done some wrong things? Or do you stay with those of us who say, if he ain't guilty of a federal crime, he has no jail. Where do you stand? Oh, honestly, I think I have to agree with them. Mostly because, like, he did wrong. He needs to do the time. I know, like, a lot of people in Hollywood are doing stuff like that, and they get away with it, especially white men. That's been going on since, like, the beginning of time, we know. But and it's unfortunate that it happened to him, and he got caught specifically but it's so pervasive and he has to go down for it. Like, and, and, he got to do that. Uh, just to respect your position, obviously, my beautiful African sister. Uh, so if I'm hearing you correctly, even though sex trafficking, the government is complicit in it, it's been proven that the courts are complicit in sex trafficking, that black teenage girls are the most likely to be sexually trafficked, and even though we haven't heard any evidence that Sean Puffy Combs engaged in the sexual trafficking of minors, you still believe he should go down for the problem, even though the problem itself will remain? Well, he's part of the equation in the problem. And we have some documented evidence already. There's been lots of victims who have come out. Um, well, and give me, can you give me the name of a victim who said she was sexually trafficked across state lines by Sean Puffy Combs. We don't know any specifically, but I'm talking about just the right. abuse. That's what he's like. being charged with though, Queen. He's being charged with interstate sex trafficking. There could be some people that come out and we don't know about it yet. But he the public will go to jail even though we don't have the evidence. There could be some evidence. Honestly, I feel like But you don't mind him going to jail before the evidence. I don't think, well, they already have something on him. If what they're, do they have on him? Tell me. They have something on him that we don't know. Do you see what you're doing, my queen? Oh my you're, you're going along with the narrative. No, I'm with, not. I mean, he's already, we've, are you, it's already accounted for. The media control your opinions. What was that? The media dictating the way you see this case. No, no not at all. Okay. I don't and so. In, so even though sexual trafficking will remain a issue, and even though we've seen no evidence that he sexually trafficked anybody, you think he's guilty? I do, because just because there is no concrete evidence right now, that doesn't mean they might not find anything. And the other things that he's been charged for, there's evidence for that. And I think something's going to come out just because the public doesn't know it yet. Okay. Thank you for that opinion, my queen. I hope to see you in Atlanta one day. Thanks. Thanks. I'm disappointed in my sisters. It just seems like y'all don't like, are y'all seeing the legal ramifications of this? She said he can go to jail even without the evidence. It sounds like y'all want him in jail for having freak offs. That's what it sounds like. It sounds like y'all want him to go down for freak offs. The other two sisters said he should go down right even though donald trump and bill clinton did it and they not being prosecuted it don't matter still prosecute puff i don't know black women it almost seems like y'all don't mind black men being taken down unjustifiably the question is did he break a law 
The question is, did Sean Puffy Combs break a law? Did he break a law? Don't tell me to stop it, baby, because I will block you. Don't do that. Okay. Nyliana going once. Nyliana going twice. It sounds like black women want to go to jail because... How are you, Queen? Good, how are you I'm doing? Well. Where are you based at, my Queen? Ohio. What part? What city? Um, Columbus. Columbus, Ohio. I ain't been there in about 10 years. Mm -hmm. What is your... Sister, Puffy, just to give you a quick summary, I had two sisters who said he should go to jail. I asked them, is that fair? Even though there's white men who do what Puffy do all the time, they, they will never be prosecuted. They said he should still go. We need him out of here. I said, do you think it is a good thing for the, for the black community to depend on the federal government to destroy our people because we disagree with them? They think it was okay. The last sister couldn't name anybody who was sexually trafficked. The last sister, uh, she couldn't name, you know, any evidence that they have on on Puffy's being accused of sexual trafficking, but she still feel he should go to jail because she says they will come up with the evidence. Where do you stand on this? Um, I think evidence definitely is a big part. So, and I also understand like um, the injustice stuff that we've been through in, um, in America, just as like African Americans in general. So when you were uh, mentioning how 200, in 46 like years we've been going through this and um like how is the criminal putting like other people in jail i definitely do like agree with that like but at the same time i can see like both sides you know just like growing up like without any evidence like you hear stuff about diddy in general um but do i do I, sorry can you hear me yes yes okay sorry but do i do i agree with somebody <laughs> going to jail just based off of no evidence no but um but also i have to say like i haven't like researched I understand. enough so it's my thing queen and give me your response my thing is this if the government can get black people to pu publicly say you can get rid of him we don't want him if the government can start doing that there is no limit to who they can destroy or incarcerate because what's happening is the black community is mm -hmm. canceling people and mm -hmm. when we cancel them we're telling the government because we cancel puffy you can now take him charge yeah. him illegally prosecute him illegally and put him in jail for anything you want because black people no longer want him i think mm -hmm. that's a dangerous precedent You're yeah yeah that is very dangerous very very dangerous i agree like just but like of course like if i'm not like so focused on just like my identity and if i was just like oh i'm a woman okay like i understand but also like i am i like i'm african-american i know what we've been through i know what black men go through at the same time so i can get like i said i get i get both sides and that is definitely dangerous so um i don't I don't agree with somebody going to jail with uh, no evidence at all. People are saying in the comments, Queen, because they don't understand. We're so emotional, and we don't know how to calm down and think clearly. What what the media is doing, and they're doing a good job of it, and we're doing it too. We're guilty too. We're convoluting his character with whether he committed the crime of interstate sex trafficking. Are you following yeah. me? All yeah. people are saying he should go to jail who don't have any evidence because we haven't been given any evidence, but they still mm -hmm. say he should go to jail for a charge. He hasn't been proved no. They said he yeah. should go to jail for a charge. He hasn't been proven. That means you believe the freak offs. His character is enough to convict him. Yeah. And that is exactly what the U.S. government has been doing to black men yeah. since we were getting convicted, lynched, and hang because we were black yeah because of our presumed character and so what i'm saying to black america we better stop and take a look at how the government is manipulating our emotions into helping them destroy our people yeah. if that makes sense yeah i completely agree with that even with um emmett till just going yeah. you know just like going based off of like what other people are, yes. are saying then they end up yeah 
I agree. On the Cassie and video, I, they. I don't wanna, I'm sorry, I don't want to compare Emmett Till to P Diddy. I want. I don't want people right. to run with that. But still, and we're not. But they keep showing us the Cassie video. Yeah. He's not accused of a crime with Cassie. But they keep, he's accused of interstate sex trafficking. Oh. But every time the news come on, they're showing you dragging her down the hall. He's not charged with that. Where is the evidence for what he is being charged with? They're yeah. using emotion. Yes. They want America to cancel the man so they can destroy the man. And black people are all up in their emotions over his character. And they're yeah. not dealing with the fact that the crimes he's being charged with we have yet to see any evidence yeah thank you for and my sister thank yeah. you wait for one question sure. one question um and people are saying i'm i'm, I'm blazing i'm not blazing i'm, I'm black I, she's I, fully african she is not blazing yeah sorry but, about the hair <laughs> but, but, i just got me for the first time i'm queen leave her alone mm -hmm. go ahead um, but I saw you post, you did like another live thing and you were talking about how you're going to be flying, not for me, but for my mom, you're going to be flying people out to date oh, yeah. you. Yes. The date with the doctor podcast is coming soon. Okay. So tell okay. Mom, I mom, want come on out for the day. Okay. She has locks and everything. She's okay. natural. Glad to hear that. My friend. thanks for tapping in love. All right. All right. Bye. Thank you. Bro. Did the man break a federal crime? NB nappy going once. NB nappy going twice. NB nappy, where you at, King? How you doing? I'm from Jersey. Jersey, what part of Jersey? Uh, Carteret. It's like Brother, 20 what minutes. Pity situation. A lot of the sisters are saying he need to go to jail for being a despicable person. I don't agree with that. If you're being charged with a federal crime, you need to be guilty of a federal offense. I do not believe we should be supporting people being convicted over crimes that had... I don't believe we should support people being convicted of crimes that they are innocent of because they are guilty of other offenses against the community. Mm -hmm. Where do you... No, I agree. I agree with the entire thing. I, I was kind of more like... I need to see you. Where you at? Yeah, God. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, I was kind of, I was kind of like really confused on like why people are so like not worked up about it, but like why why do we like make such a big deal about celebrities when it doesn't have kind of much to do with us? Like, I was kind of really confused about that. Wait, my brother, because what they do to the big ones, they can easily do to the small. Mm. So I pay attention to Bill Cosby, to Sean Combs. If they can do it to this, do it to this guy. Mm, I see what you're saying. Oh, I just had a, I had, a, I had a question real quick. I go to Howard. You came once. Do you know if you ever come back? I will be at Howard for the homecoming. It's going to be a comedy and consciousness show on the, thir on the 17th, I think. I think it's the Thursday before homecoming. I will be hosting a comedy and consciousness event. At <laughs> all right, but I got you. All right, thank you so much. Though. That's all I really had to say. Be safe. All right, you too. This is the Prince of Pan-Africanism. How do you feel about Puff Daddy? We going live. A lot of black women say he should go to jail even if he's not guilty because of what he's done in these streets. Do you agree with the black women who believe Sean Puffy Combs should go to jail even if he's not guilty of a federal crime because of what he has done in these streets? Do you agree or disagree? Illustrious going once, illustrious going twice, sister illustrious. We whack. Hey, you, I'm in yeah. Texarkana, Texas. Uh, uh, what city was that? Texarkana, Te Texas. Anna, how you doing there, beautiful? I'm good. How I'm, are you? All right. The question of the day, my queen. Some black people believe even if Puffy is innocent of a federal charge, he should still go to jail for the thing. He has done in these streets. Do you agree that it's okay to lock somebody up for a crime they didn't commit because they did do other things in the community that we don't support? Where do you stand on this? Should Puffy go to jail just because he's Puffy 
or should he be released if he's not guilty of interstate sex trafficking? He should be released if he's not guilty of interstate sex trafficking. It's not a crime to be a freak. That's right. It's not a crime. There's no reason that he should be. I mean, so when did it become illegal for me to have a thousand bottles of um baby, baby oil and lube? Like, I'm a freak. I like to have fun. That's right. That, That's that right. He should not be locked up behind that. You go to these judges and doctors and lawyers. They go to kink parties. You ever go to kink.com? I mean, I'm just kind of putting it out there. But you go to kink.com, you see them all at these little underground parties, but you don't see them being tried for sex trafficking. That's right. That's right. Why do you think black women want him in jail, even if he's not guilty of a federal crime? People just jumping on that little train. They're jumping on the train. You know, like my thing is, um, I don't condone what happened with him and Cassie. Neither do but I. But I do. I believe Cassie sold her soul. Don't get me wrong. To a certain degree, I really do. She knew what she was getting into, but it did. She didn't deserve what she went through either. But that's the kind of price you pay when you want to be in that life, you know, and it's it's not right. That's but um, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, nah, go ahead, Queen. You good. But I, I'm just saying, like, I don't we nobody Are you knows keep turning that, that light off. No, no, I'm in my house and it's dark in my house. Let me go on my porch so you can see I, me. I keep it dark. I'm like a vampire. All right. OK. okay. Sorry about we that. must stay focused, brothers. We must stay focused. Go ahead, Quinn. <laughs> but people, they want to jump on the. They want to jump on the the train. You know, you just you just hearing what people. These are allegations. At the end of the day, they're allegations. You are innocent until proven guilty. And when everybody, none of this stuff came out until everybody started saying, "Oh, well, Cassie got a settlement. Now I got. Now we got problems with Diddy." You know, it, and to me, I think Diddy is the fall guy for somebody even bigger in the system. I really do. I just, I think they just want to lock up our black men. Bill right. Cosby. They didn't have a problem with Bill Cosby until he was getting ready to buy Peacock. That's oh, right. now all of a sudden he's he's a predator. He's this, he's that. You know, like, it's, it's crazy. <laughs> I could go on and on. <laughs> but how far are you from Dallas? I am uh, two, two hours from Dallas. Okay, I'm speaking in Dallas on October the 12th. There's a big event for the black contractors. There's open to the public. I'm going to post the information on my page, though. Please do. I'm going to come see you. Hey, gorgeous. I'm looking forward to seeing you. All right. All right Thank Mom. you. Bye. Okay. We must stay focused, African males. We must stay focused. Miss Superb 21 going once. Miss Superb 21 going twice. Miss Superb, where you based at, my queen? I'm in CET, Connecticut. Like, looking like Peppa from Salt and Pepper. You ever get never, that? Never. You look, looking like Peppa. Peppa gorgeous, though. Yeah, Peppa no, gorgeous. Of course. Okay. Yeah, no. Okay. What, I, is, what is your take on this Diddy situation? Black, some black women feel he should go to jail for what he's done in the community, even if he's not guilty of a federal offense. I don't agree with that, but where do you stand on it? I don't agree with it either. I think it's way bigger than what we even talking about. I think they trying to take him out because he's supporting black people. He want to see us win and he's speaking that in the public. And I'm, you know, he's coming out with a lot of things, black owned, black owned this, and he's very big. Everybody know Diddy. Though we have seen evidence of him doing things um, nobody's perfect. He even came out and, and explained these things. You want either you don't want to respect it, you want to respect it. That's your own personal opinion about it. But I feel like I could respect it because at least he not being a scaredy cat hiding and shying away from the people who've been watching him for many years and seeing the things that he's done and, and had a like to him as a celebrity, right? So there's, there's no evidence. Everybody kind of need to fall back and stop with all of this extra stuff. Burn anyway, even if he's not guilty of the interstate sex trafficking, why do so many black women want to see him in jail anyway? That, I don't know. That's weird to me. Like, even, like, I don't understand that. Like, you personally don't know the man. So what you so invested in wanting to see somebody go down so hard let, for? Let me ask you this. Do you think, please God, do you think that some black women have been through so much with black men that they just want to see us suffer? Like, 
have you ever come across black women where they just want to see black men and they want us to feel what you all have felt quite possibly at our you know discretion yes i could say that because i experienced that i got a son and his father is black and he's done things to me that made me feel like i want to get my payback but i'm intelligent and humble enough to understand that i'm not going to do that because i understand my history and i understand this land that i walk on every single day and what has been done right here in this place and what is continuing to be done towards my people i don't care if you jamaican uh whatever type of black background you got at the end of the day we need to start supporting each other we need to stop talking down on each other we need to stop disrespecting each other and we just and and even if something like diddy is going on we need to stand behind even if he totally wrong we need to stand behind that because who you trying to stand behind mm. do you know your history mm. do you know anything or you at the end of the day because you got a social media page. I, I don't understand I it. I stand, be, I stand behind my people and don't get it wrong because I know, I know how you, I know what you believe in and don't believe in, you know, whatever. But I'm also not um, like a race. I don't have like a racist mindset though. Though I love my people, I love human beings. If you could respect me, I'm gonna respect you. And that's the end of the conversation. No, no, no bunny hopping, all right? No bunny hopping. My fiance is not black. Ah, no. no, don't you say that. That, that, Bro, that ain't got nothing. Oh, my queen. What is this ethnicity? What my, my son's father is Haitian. That's black. But he's not my fiance. Your fiance is what ethnicity? Does it matter if he's not black I, I to you? I'll beat you up, my queen. I just want to. I what? mean, he's 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 not black. What is he, woman? Is he Arab? Is he East Indian? Is he Chinese? Is he a Jew? Is he Italian? Is he Russian? Is he Anglo-Saxon? Is he Latino? <laughs> what is he? he he's Caucasian, okay. and he's a, and he's a wonderful person. He's a wonderful human being, and he respects everybody. Okay, he not he doesn't believe it or not. A lot of these um humbled white people today who are not racist they're not even on all of that like all, a lot of us black people all caucasians are racist my sister I, they're hey not, I, listen i, to, I bigots, told they're not that. all bigots but they are all racist i told his ass that but i, I really I'm don't sure believe your fiance has used the n-word before probably never around you he's used the n-word before but, all white not, are racist. well i'm not gonna say he hasn't but it's not he used that term with his like friends and his brothers well, right are you ex are you comfortable with a caucasian well, using the n-word at well, all well okay so i'm a millennium right to, and now in today's time of my time i was born 1992 in my time of growing up when we use the term like nigga right oh my nigga this my nigga that oh nigga this, or like whatever like, okay you like what the fuck or you, you know whatever the case may be of why you're using that term we use that term to 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 call somebody like, oh, that nigga over there. He could be Spanish. He could be white. He could be uh, Indian. We'll call it Indian a nigga. So you support the normalization of the N-word? No, I don't support the normalization of it because I know my history. And I understand that. But I also understand culture and the times and how it's moving. And I don't deny the, 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 the re reality of that. So I don't that condone it. If the times are changing. Yeah. It's like people are not using that word to degrade you like they did in the early 1900s and, and later. I mean, some are. The racists oh, will. So, so what you're saying is when Caucasians use the N-word, and let's say N-word queen, when Caucasians use the N-word, it's no, it, now they're using the N-word in a positive way. No, I'm not saying, I listen, I heard him say it before and i've heard other white people say it before and i kind of will just tell them like listen you heard your fiance use the n-word and how did you respond i told him that it's not good for you i said if you use that term outside you might get knocked the fuck out and i i, I educate him we like we talk about these things and i educate him he's not gonna understand it from a point of view of black people he's not black and he gets called that by his by his friends but this is what I'm trying to explain. This is like, it's not, I'm not saying that I think it's right. I'm just saying that I'm aware of that it's happening 
and 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 what are what are the underlying reasons of why it's happening and no i do not think it's something that should be continued on and i think as black people we should continue to uh, throw that word away because it's a, it is not a positive word at the end of the day okay. but we're not the world in one day right so it's all about education and learning and understanding and and moving forward towards the politics of it i appreciate you my, my queen thanks for tapping yeah. in of course right. thank you all right. All right. All right. My black queens, my black queens, my black queens. It's okay for Diddy to burn, but y'all dating outside y'all race, the people responsible for us being in the situation we in. It's okay for Diddy to go to jail, but y'all out here dating the CEO, colonizer, enslaver, and oppressor. Diddy's supposed to go to jail, but the people responsible for every problem black people got, y'all can live with them, sleep with them, mate with them, procreate with them, engage them, and marry them? Can we stop being hypocrites? Black queens, you know I love you. Can we stop being hypocrites? Y'all want Diddy to go down, but you will sleep with the oppressor? Y'all want Diddy to go down, but you will sleep with the slave master? Y'all want Diddy to go down, but y'all will sleep with the colonizer? Peace, Queen. How you doing? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> yes, ma'am. One love. All right. What up, King? I can't hear you. Why can't I hear my brother, y'all? Can y'all still hear me? Did I go out or is it just his phone, y'all? Somebody talk to me. Can y'all hear me? Can y'all hear my brother? Somebody talk to me. Can y'all hear the brother? Can y'all hear me? Can y'all hear me? No sound. Can y'all hear me? Say, yes, I can hear you, Doc. He can hear me, but I can't hear him. Can y'all hear Dr. Umar in the audience? Okay, she said they can hear me. Okay, they said it's your phone, black man. I don't know what that is. I'm going to tap you out and tap you back in. I don't know why I couldn't hear my brother Sunset Smoke. Can y'all hear me right now? Can everybody hear me right now? Can everybody hear me right now? Let's go to 4109. 4109 going once. 4109, he declined. Somebody tap in. The real clutch going once. The real clutch going twice. The real clutch. Real clutch, where you at? Ooh, what's going what on with you? Prince, where you at? What city? I'm in uh, uh, Georgia, Savannah, Savannah, Georgia. Savannah, Georgia. What's your take on this Diddy situation? Do you think he should go to jail for past deeds, or should he only go to jail if he's guilty of a federal crime? Why do you feel black women still want him to go to jail even if he's not guilty of a federal crime? If they don't have any concrete evidence on Diddy, they're not presenting that, sir. So with that being said, they were there alone lets me know that it's a hidden agenda behind all this stuff. So what I, I think is, I think that they need to present the evidence, you know what I'm saying? And then, you know what I'm saying, everything from that point on can be held correctly. Because we all know that the system and the judicial system, all, all that is corrupted to their, you know what I'm saying, advantage. So us as people, seeing what's going on, we let all this social media and everything else affect our real outlook on society and what's going on. Therefore, we are blind and we are always going with these opinions and this other stuff with, with waves and stuff. That's what black people do. We go for all these waves and stuff. You see what I'm saying? Right. So I think that they just need to present the evidence and all this other stuff they're doing. You know what I'm saying? These memes and stuff about this. Like, what's really going on? You know what I mean? If he is accountable, he's accountable. But that don't 
add on to what we what we doing as as, as black people as one. You know what's going on? All right, that's right. Thanks for telling. Yeah. Queen, that was strong. King, that was strong. King, appreciate you, brother. One, two, love. love. I agree with my brother, real clutch. Let me go to another sister. Where my sisters at? Where my five, five, thick in the thigh, butter, almond, chocolate, fudge, pistachio, caramel, walnut, almond butter, shea butter queens. Where y'all at? I got to tap into a queen next. Come on. They messing with the live again, y'all. They messing with the tap-ins. They messing with the tap-ins. They keep messing with the tap-ins. I live for Carrie. I live for Carrie. I'm going to have to restart again, y'all. I'm restarting in one minute. 